Hey everyone, my name is Rav Holly, aka The American Nomad. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. I got a quick unboxing for you guys today. You know what it is by the title of the video. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. All right, let's get this baby unboxed. See what she looks like. Let's see. One of these days I'm going to get a fancy unboxer instead of these goofy green looking green handled scissors. I don't know. They do the job though, right? So I guess that's all that matters. As long as they do the job. All right. Well, there we go. And she just falls right out. She was ready to be brought into the world. Uh... All right. So this hard hat was actually a return or I got a discount on it because it's blemished. So we'll be looking at the blemishes. Yeah, how bad they are. Uh, I'm not really too worried about it as long as it's not crazy blemished. I actually thought the I thought the hard hat would come in like a fitted box. Like I got like a skate helmet or if you see like at Walmart, the skate helmets, they're all like in a fitted box. But evidently it just comes in this bag. It could have been a return maybe. That's why maybe it's in this big bag, big Ziploc bag. I'll probably use this bag actually. Oh yeah, very nice. And then just a paper of instructions. And again, this is a Dax Lift hard hat. And this is not the carbon fiber version. So don't be uh, confused because there are Dax carbon fibers. And this is the poly, it's not a carbon fiber. And it does have a scuff right there on the bill, like maybe it got dropped. Let's see what else it's got. Oh, it's got a little, little discoloration right there. And oh yeah, we got a good scuff right there. But nothing too serious. I read some reviews on this hard hat and people really bragged about how comfortable it was. And this um, system here, like how great it is and how well it fits your head. So I figure we will check this out and test it and see how it fits and how it feels now for those of you that know my channel you're probably wondering like what in the world are you doing with a hard hat like why would you need a hard hat uh, if you've been following my channel for any time well if you're interested in actually knowing the specifics of reason i've got this hard hat uh, i may be doing a series here in the near future so leave me a comment below if you'd be interested in knowing what i have been doing Basically because of the pandemic, I uh, made a career move, or not a career move, but I've just been doing something different than working as an assistant director and a second AD in the film industry. And what I'm doing now, I just moved into a different position, and they do require you to have a hard hat. Now the company actually, actually furnishes you a hard hat, which we have right here, and we can do a little comparison. This is the hard hat that was checked out to me. It's got a little barcode here to show that it was checked out to me and it has to be checked back in. Now when the, this facility that I'm working at, when it first opened, they issued you these hard hats and give them to give them to you. But evidently something has changed. Uh, people have abused that or something. Now they check them out and you have to check them back in. And the first night I worked in this hard hat, I was sweating profusely. So my thoughts is me turning this hard hat in with a sweaty, profusely sweaty, wet band from my sweaty head and then rechecking out another hard hat the next night that came off of someone else's sweaty head. It just didn't appeal to me. So I decided because I'm such a prima donna. And I like having my own stuff anyway, that I would just buy my own hard hat. And so that's what this is here. And if you're interested in knowing what I've been doing, 
Leave me a comment below and let me know that you're curious what I've been doing. I may delve into the specifics of it. But anyway, let's uh, compare the two. I will say that this line is not straight. <laughs> it is not straight. I don't even know if this whole hard hat is straight. It all looks a little off. This looks like it's a little further up than this, but maybe it's just my, uh, I don't know, maybe an optical illusion. I don't know. Maybe it is. And it just looks off to me because one minute I'll look at it. If I look at it from back here, it looks off. But if I look at it from the front, it looks even. So I don't know. Anyway, let's try them on and compare the two. Now this is an MSA. It's got the logo right there, but it's literally just your basic, you know, when you think of a basic hard hat, you know, that the you know that the general contractor puts on has to put on when he comes and walks the job site this is what you think of try this one on um it does have a large ratchet which is i've worn hard hats in the past and they had the little tiny ratchet thing so the ratchet is very large compared to what i'm used to and this thing man it just fits right down on your head snug and I, I mean, you could ride like a dune buggy through the desert with this thing and it would not come off your head. I mean, it's like a helmet more than a hard hat. I mean, it just fits so snug. You got to be careful snugging it down too tight because I did get somewhat of a little headache one night and had to kind of loosen it up. Uh, but from then on, I didn't, I didn't go that extra tight. And so it's just, it feels great, man. It really, uh, but evidently, I guess people don't like how low it sets on your head. And that's where this comes in because it's a lift. It evidently sets up, it sets up a lot higher on your head. And maybe that makes it cooler if you're working outside or if you're working in a hot environment, I guess, possibly. Is one reason you would want it to be higher up on your head so more airflow can get under it. I, I'm guessing. That's just my guess. So don't take that as the gospel because I have no idea. And then we have the Dax Lift. And I can tell you 100% honestly that this hard hat is about 30% as comfortable as this one. <laughs> and that's not a lie. I mean, I'm being, I'm being honest with you guys. This hard hat is not near as comfortable as this hard hat. I mean, this hard hat just fits like a glove. This one just, it's just slides on your head like it's supposed to. And it literally just fits like a glove. This one does not. It uh, feels like it would probably fall off pretty easily and i feel pressure points i can feel pressure points on this band like right here in the back right here and it just doesn't feel like it's like wrapped around and touching my scalp my head in all the places and i guess maybe that's could be because of the lift because it sits up higher so it's just not as far down on your head so it just doesn't feel like it's gripping your head all the way it kind of feels like it's just barely hanging on there I'm sure I'll get used to it. I'm not um, doing anything that's crazy, like, you know, work-wise. Uh, it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, now, one thing I do want to say, too, is I read some reviews on this hard hat, even on the web, their official website, and there were a lot of complaints about it chipping. So this one's already got a chip in it. That's why I got the discount on it. So evidently this uh, is painted polyurethane so maybe it's something like this and then they painted it with this clear coat or this coat of these coat of paint and if you listen to these i mean this is just typical plastic hard plastic and if you listen to this one i can tell you already it's it's got like a like a a plate like a plastic plate or even like a light bulb. I mean, it just doesn't sound near as sturdy as that one. So I could definitely see if, uh, you know, a bolt or something fell off a skyscraper from like, say, four or five stories up and hits the top of this thing. It's definitely going to chip and do some damage. This one, I imagine it would put a big scuff mark in it, but I bet it would just bounce right off. This one, I think you'd get, you'd lose a lot of paint, but I don't think it would you know, do any more damage, just be really horribly cosmetic wise. I don't know. I kind of like it though. I really like the colors. Uh, red and black used to really be my favorite color. Not so much anymore, but 
When I was a kid, they were really my favorite colors. Oh, it does have these rubber finger grips is what I'm taking them, what they are. So if you need to pull your hat down, which I really do like, I think those are really cool. I mean, it's a good looking hard hat. I'm not going to say it's not. It's just, uh, I'll probably get used to it, but just the initial putting them on your head, this hard hat is a lot more comfortable. And I'll leave links down in the description if I find this these on. I think they're all on Amazon. This one's on Amazon, but I don't think it's in black and red. I think it's just the carbon fiber. But I'll leave a link to uh, I'll leave a link to one on Amazon. I think you can get the green and black one like this. It's identical, but it's green and black instead of uh, red and black. I didn't see the red and black one on Amazon. Um, but these, you, I'm pretty sure you can get on Amazon. I'll, if you can, I'll put a link in the description, affiliate link. Um, oh, and what I was going to say is this hard hat, is, as well as it fits on your head, this hard hat is literally, I, I believe it's like 10 to 20 bucks. I think I've seen it on eBay for like 10 bucks. I think I've seen it on Amazon for like 20 bucks. Uh, I did see white MSA hard hats, you know, they were 80, 90, over a hundred dollars that looked pretty much identical to this, but I think it's the rating, you know, it's the rating. They go up in price for how, uh, the rating, like the quality of how they're made. And this is just, I think like a basic entry level. Like I said, if you're walking, you know, a job site or something like that, and you're required to use a hard hat this is like what you what you need but if you're like working on a uh, construction site where they're moving around i-beams and stuff like that you probably get the hundred dollar one you know that's a lot thicker and it's going to really really protect your head or this one uh supposedly anyway guys that's going to do it for this video i want to thank you guys for tuning in if you enjoyed the video be sure to give it a thumbs up if you liked what I said here, if you like what I'm doing here, think about subscribing. No pressure. But anyway, remember, keep looking up because that's where it all is. Peace.